When you create a new form in your Formstack account, you're given three options. The first option is to use our handy field guide that takes you step by step through building a form. The second option lets you choose from one of our pre-built forms, which you can edit to your specifications. And then the final option is to start with a blank form, which is what we're going to do here. On the next screen, you'll be taken into the form builder. If you click the Add Field button at the bottom of the screen, you'll be given several different field types to choose from. For this example, we'll start by adding a description area field. You have the ability to upload images to use in your form, which I've already done. I'm able to pull up that image by choosing it in my image list. Now once I've chosen an image from my list, I simply hit the Insert button. Now that the image is inserted, you can insert additional images or text. And when you're done adding images and text to your description area field, just simply hit the Save button. Next, let's add the fields we'll need to collect information. We'll start by adding a name field. This field needs to be filled out, so we can make it mandatory by checking the box for required. I hit the Save button and the field is added to the form. We also need phone and email address fields for this form, but I won't walk through that as that's the same process as adding the name field. Now once your phone and email address fields are added, the next step is to add a radio button field. For this form, the person filling out the form must be 18 years old to enter the contest. We'll ask if they're at least 18 years old using the label. We'll again make this field required and then add the two options, yes and no. When adding options for a field, you need to put each one on its own line. The next field will allow us to ask how the user heard about the contest. We'll once again use a radio button field and follow the same steps as the previous field. Type in the field label, set the field to required, and add your options. Since they may have heard about the contest some other way than what we've listed, we can add another option to the field by clicking the Add Other checkbox. Our next field will give users the ability to opt into our email list to notify them of future contests. To set this field up, add a radio button field and type in your label. For this example, we'll ask if they want to hear about future contests, make the field required, and then add the options yes and no. You may want to also add supporting text that mentions they'll be added to your email list by clicking yes. So finally, the last field we need to add is a long answer field that gives the user the ability to type out and submit their email marketing ideas for the contest. Once again, make this field required. Now that all the fields are added to the form, we can scroll up to the top and give it a name. You can edit your form name at any time. Next, we need to click on Settings to add the Constant Contact integration to the form. On the Settings page, click Third Party Integration, Email Service Providers, then hit the Add button next to Constant Contact. On the next screen, you'll need to provide your Constant Contact username and password, then hit Continue. You'll now need to map your Constant Contact fields to the fields in your form. Now, some of them will be mapped by default for you, as is the case with this form. We also have some custom fields that need to be mapped, which we can do by selecting the drop-down list and mapping the appropriate fields. At the bottom of the integration page, you'll be presented with all the email lists from your Constant Contact account. You can choose which list or lists you'd like to add the user to when they submit the form, assuming they've opted into that list. Now, once you've chosen your list, hit the Save Settings button. The last setting that needs to be changed can be found under Emails and Redirects. Scroll down to the section labeled After the form is submitted and click on the Constant Contact redirect to edit it. Next, click on Smart Routing. This allows us to use conditional logic to only add a user to the Constant Contact email list if they opt in by clicking Yes in the field to ask if they'd like to hear about future contests. Once you're done, hit OK, then click the Save Settings button. To use your form, click on the Publish tab. Here you'll be provided with a URL that links to your form as well as an embed code for placing the form directly on your website. For questions about building your form and the Constant Contact integration, visit support.formstack.com or send us an email at support.formstack.com. At